so I passed my RDCS exam on my first term and uh, in this video I'm gonna show you some of the important study materials that uh, you will have to cover to pass your RDCS exam so in this registry exam a lot of important things are uh, really very important hey everyone Welcome back to my channel again. It's me, Afshin. I got these digital patches of register diagnostic cardiac sonographer and uh, adult echocardiography ae specialty so i passed my rdcs exam and today's video is uh, obviously related to this main topic adult echocardiography obviously you have a lot of uh, uh, different books related to adult echocardiography and uh, besides that a lot of study materials are found uh, online so i highly recommend you having all of that things but uh, one most important thing uh, that relates uh, to your rdcs exam i'm gonna show you hold on one second I'm gonna give you the correct information about that. Uh, so this is the I, rec I highly recommend you this ultrasound registry review. So go and get it because this is the most important thing and uh, this helped me a lot to pass this exam on my first one. And uh, in this video I'm gonna show you what are the important and essential study materials you will have to cover in order to pass your RDCS exam. So let's start. A textbook of clinical echocardiography. The images of this textbook helped me a lot in my exam. This EchoMed Easy is an another important book for you to cover in order to pass your adult echocardiography exam so as you have uh, so many books so many different different books of adult echocardiography along with that a uh, lot of study materials are already found online and you uh, but I highly recommend you the one of the most important thing that helped me a lot that is uh, hold on and, and I will show you that uh, on my tablet this is adult echocard ultrasound registry review exam so ultrasound registry review contains uh, more than thousand questions very important i will show you that uh, ultrasound registry review Adult echocardiography. This is, I highly recommend you to do this for SPI exam too, and for vascular exam too. So, this is really very important. I highly, highly recommend it to you. In order to pass your registry exam if you want to pass your rdcs or rvt spi so this is important for all of them so i'm gonna show you some important uh, really very important topics related to my registry exam rdcs exam so so for the registry exam, you will have to prepare properly. So I wrote some important uh, 
study materials uh, for you I wrote some topics for you here here are. so I will discuss this to you so left ventricular and diastolic pressure in severe diastolic dysfunction that increases and uh, TTE multiple images of TTE for septal hypertrophy multiple apical four chamber views in a video showing apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy video clips of apical four chamber and apical two chamber in a patient with a restrictive cardiomyopathy due to the cause amyloidosis multiple images showing LV non-compaction isovolumic contraction time occurs during which heart sound S1 to S2 the rapid acceleration and mid systolic notching are consistent with severe pulmonic hypertension methods that can be used to resolve aliasing 2D image showing Doppler beam with artifact to measure the pulmonary artery pressure by using its formula while the valve has given thickened valve leaflet and RA enlargement are seen in apical four chamber view rheumatic tricuspid stenosis multiple views for mitral regurgitation MRJ on TEE video Vigors diagram for multiple conduction questions multiple question from resolution artifacts speckled beam with reverberation video of IVC subcostal view showing fenestration of station valve different views in a video for LV non-compaction the most common cause of bioprosthetic valve to dysfunction that's tissue generation tissue degeneration which view is best to evaluate the pulmonary valve parasternal short axis during Doppler evaluation of AV a significant wall motion artifact is seen on the Doppler tracing how can you correct it increase the high pass filter while performing a contrast exam which is preferred to prevent increased bursting of micro bubbles a low mechanical index so which is best for the saline contrast evaluation of an AST harmonic image a TEE video showing ostium secundum a video clip of subcostal view showing VST inlet that was a very confusing image for me that's okay for complication of tetralogy of palate the low velocity tricuspid regurgitation and a thin walled RV with poor function parchment heart syndrome aortic insufficiency with a pressure half time of 150 ms represent the level of aortic stenosis represent the sorry aortic insufficiency that's severe which abnormality is commonly associated with Epstein anomaly Wolf's Parkinson white syndrome the most common valvular tumor in the heart which commonly form on the mitral valve leaflet or related apparatus papillary fibroelastoma an autosomal recessive disorder is Pompe disease which causes the abnormal storage of glycogen in the myocardium in a zoom pulmonic valve in peristernal short axis view where is a left pulmonary artery is seen that was also a bad quality image but uh, you know you have to 
identify at that time when you are giving your exam and you can do that uh, easily if you studied harder the most commonly identified cardiac tumor in the pediatric uh, population rhabdomyomas a debate classification of uh, aortic uh, dissection 1 2 and 3 all are important a subaortic membrane will cause the highest velocity in the LVOT. Pulmonary hypertension is a type of the right heart pressure overload. Carcinite disease causing causes thickening, abnormal cooperation of the leaflet in the right heart, which leads to tricuspid regurgitation. Question related to systolic and diastolic murmur. Problem relating to continuity equation for aortic valve area bicuspid aortic valve appears in flex view as diastolic sagging and uh, systolic bowing of aortic valve in m mode and shows uh, eccentric closure of aortic valve problem relating to pulmonary artery pressure in the if the patient has tricuspid regurgitation and rap is given right atrial pressure is given if Another name for mitral valve prolapse is systolic click murmur syndrome. Bijork Shelley is a type of tilting disc. ASE value of RAP for IBC collapses completely during a sniff test that is 3 mm AG. The best test for LV aneurysm is left sided contrast echo. In intracardiac echo, the most useful position for transducer is in right atrium. Few questions related to the segment of LV in different 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 views. For example, apical three chamber, subcostal four chamber, flex view, and uh, irregular damage to the myocardium occur in myocardial infarction. The complete occlusion of coronary arteries. Questions related to Diastolic dysfunction 1, 2, and 3. Causes for hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Questions related to restrictive and constrictive cardiomyopathies. These are very important for the registry exam. Best of luck.